Okay, this is my attempt to model uh, kite coordinates in polar frame. And I'm just, uh, we're looking here from the origin, looking like we're flying the kite. We've got the wind behind us and we're on the ground. There's the kite up in the air. It's heading towards our left and it's going down slightly. So we can see the elevation angle here, uh, beta, which is... Um, the polar coordinates 90 minus phi, you've got the azimuth angle measured um, as standard from 90 degrees uh, left around clockwise from above to where it's incident with the xy plane. On the possible wind window that this can fly in, I've shown here, I've got this uh, the height here, uh, or this arc that's uh, on that z xy plane on that z height there going round these are the coordinates on the ground with with respect to the world coordinates now up on the kite itself we've got this tangential plane as part of the where that tether length l well r can go and so this is the tangential plane you can hear, uh, see here, this, this square, its reference towards the elevation and azimuth, where it is. So say we're feeding out our kite, it's got this component of velocity here, which is uh, in line with the, the radial, the, with the tether, VKR, that's the velocity of the kite with respect to the radial you've got the overall velocity as it's it's heading around this way we've set it going down so as i say we've set it if you have a look here i've got kite rotation from frame that's our, our course angle basically so that's with respect to the tangential frame where the kite is moving uh, that gives you uh, this vector the overall kite vector being a component of how fast it's going outwards and how fast it's going around and at which which angle with respect to the frame. From that you can, the uh, once you've got the kite velocity there you can use the minus the, the kite velocity here with the, the wind velocity to get the apparent wind over the kite um, while well, we take it from that point there at the controller but it's going to be very similar to what it is over the wing so I created a parametric model as well so that we can change all of these and just keep it all. This this changes how close to the wind the kite can fly. You see that changes the angle of the overall dome that it can fly within the wind window there. And we can change the height it's working at and the length of the tether, how much you've paid out. That's where you can fly at any one point. So hopefully you'll be able to use this model if you're interested in yo-yo kite dynamics and seeing just quite how how they work. How the, the standard notation has been set down.